Hello everyone, my name is Elsa, I'm a visual designer and a Dubix D ambassador and welcome back to another one of my videos. In this one, we're going to be focusing on how to create email newsletters in Adobe XD. In particular, we're going to be looking at how you can really use components to enhance the newsletter creation process. So let's jump right into it. website open which I created during a live stream with Alex a fellow Adobe XD ambassador I'm gonna link it above if you wanted to check that out so we're going to be creating a newsletter from this design which should make it a lot faster so I'm gonna draw a new artboard and then I'm going to adjust the width to 600 newsletters are typically 500 to 600 in width and heights can we can adjust as we go along but I will set the scrolling because when we're previewing I want to be able to scroll through the design as a user actually would so we're gonna set the viewport height to actually not 1080 we set it to 900 okay that's awesome so first thing that we're gonna do is we want to create like a hero section you know think of the newsletter in the same way that you would kind of think of a website what is the topmost content that we want to introduce to the user so that's typically going to be what exactly this newsletter is what company it's from maybe incorporating some kind of visuals so yeah we'll start out with i'll call it like a banner section okay and just like that we have our banner section done name of the newsletter what edition it is and also what date this is being sent out so next up we obviously have like a couple of products maybe we want to advertise new new arrivals like we did on the website or you know highlight certain products to the person opening the newsletter so we'll kind of do a product feature section next So what I did just there is I turned on my layout grid because it sometimes makes it easier to space out content and adjust it accordingly when you're working with a layout as opposed to just freestyling everything. So I definitely recommend doing it for your own designs too. I will decrease the opacity of this just a bit, I'll make it like 10 so you can still see the design as well. So obviously I don't know a lot about plants so you'll have to forgive me, um, Gertrude Crownflower. <laughs> it's probably the most bizarre plant name ever but we're just gonna go with that. Um, and now I had grouped these two text boxes together and I turned on stacking which means that instead of having to manually move certain elements around to determine spacing, I can just determine it from here. So right now they're 17 pixels apart. I want them to be like a lot closer, like five. And just like that, it'll adjust accordingly. So stacks is just a really fun way of making those kinds of quick changes um, in a short amount of time. We're just gonna add a button. You know, we want to create CTAs for our different sections to ensure that the user is incentivized to perform a certain action. In this case, we're advertising new arrivals. So obviously we wanna tell someone, hey, this just came out. Why don't you check it out and maybe purchase it? That's obviously not gonna be a CTA, that's kinda long, but we'll go, we'll say go plan shopping. I'm not a copywriter, but I'm doing my best here. So I added a cute little arrow to our CTA button because I kind of like doing that. Um, I actually might adjust the spacing of this, seems a bit much. Okay, so that's padding, I forgot to mention. I talked about stacks a bit, but you can also incorporate padding particularly with buttons if you want to set the spacing within an element. So in this case, we have this pill shape and we have content inside it and if I want to dictate how much padding I want between the actual content and the edge of the shape. Let's say I wanted it to be 50, you can see the spacing is going to increase to reflect that. So padding is also a really great way to adjust spacing with your elements. And I also grouped the text and arrow together and I add applied tag stacking to it. That way, if we were to change the CTA to let's say go, 
it'll adjust accordingly you know without us having to manually move the arrow and move the text box to make sure that they're like 10 pixels apart all the time it'll do it on its own so you can combine stacking and padding to streamline your design process Awesome. So our first section of our newsletter is done, new arrivals with our CTA to go plant shopping. And now we can follow up with another section. So, you know, newsletters are a great way of linking out to external content you may have. Maybe your company has a blog and you want to link out to an article that's been written. Newsletters are a great way of doing that. So that's what we're going to do for our next section. tips section created pretty simple and standard i added in this really nice shape i'm kind of really working with the archway shape here um I'm, i don't know i've been a big fan of it lately but rather than just leaving it as a solid color i want to add an image to this so i've already kind of found a couple of different images i want to use from unsplash so i'm going to drop this one in here and set the opacity to 100 so yeah it adds you know a nice cute little color element i'm probably gonna crop my text a bit more so we can see more of our image and yeah it kind of creates a really cute and simple effect that we're working with so the next section we're going to be working with is you know what if we were featuring you know subscribers or buyers or you know whoever's in our audience and we're doing some kind of feature section where we're highlighting them or spotlighting them that's actually a great word spotlight so we're gonna be creating a nice little spotlight section which will once again link out to you know a full blog that's maybe been written about this particular individual being spotlighted so yep let's do that section next Also another great tip with XD, I realized that I've been using it quite a bit and maybe haven't actually been highlighting what I've been doing, but if you want to increase um, the sizing of any of your elements and you don't want to, obviously you can do that by clicking on that particular field and using your arrow keys going up or down, it'll increase or decrease, but you can also hold shift and click your arrow keys, which will increase and decrease the numerical value by 10 so you know 821 to 831 as opposed to one by one so that's just a really great tip in case you've been you know doing it you know one by one if you want to increase it by 10 increments just hold down shift and it'll work for you okay so we've got our parent spotlight section done which is great and i think i might maybe do like probably one more section and then our footer you know we want to make this just small and not too crazy and so for our final section i'm thinking of doing something um kind of related to talking about going green you know this is a company that's offering plants maybe they're also into sustainability so once again you know linking to maybe an external blog or featured content section um that goes more into depth in regards to sustainability and how to go green, etc. So we'll do that section next.
just like that we have our main content sections done so to finish it off we obviously want to include a footer you know in the footer we can provide con uh, contact details you know links to our social media etc and also importantly a way for users to opt out you know maybe they're tired of getting emails and they want to unsubscribe all of that goes into our footer section so let's do that next So just like that, we have our email newsletter completed. We have our hero section, a section on advertising new products, plant care tips, you know, plant parent spotlight, going green, reoccurring, you know, feature article, and then our footer with options for like unsubscribing or just preferences and contact details too. And so just like that, that's how easy it is to create and design your newsletter in Adobe XD. The final thing that I actually want to showcase before we are done with this video is how you can utilize components to make the creation process for further newsletters a lot quicker and faster for you. So first off, we are going to group all our different sections. So just like that, we have our different sections grouped together and created into components, which means if I were creating another edition of this newsletter, and let's say I'm kind of starting from scratch completely, rather than having to source out where your original newsletters were, maybe this is like your 100th edition, it's a lot easier to just use components to have your key sections already created. That way you can simply drag and drop them into your other newsletter designs and go from there. So for instance, obviously I have my header that I can just drag into here and place, and then I can just change these details accordingly. So maybe this is edition number 85 you know instead and then i can obviously play around with what sections i want to include maybe this time we're not doing a product feature maybe we want to jump straight into our plant care tip you know and we can do that as well we can even play around with our colors too so if i want to maybe make this newsletter more white instead of gray we can do that instead and play around with that you know maybe after plant care i still want to do plant parents as well we just kind of just drag and drop that section in here and then of course we can still kind of go back in and change the images so maybe i'm changing this image to this it still works so that's kind of a great way of using components to kind of create these different sections of your newsletter and make the creation process a lot faster than you you can even go a lot more advanced and you know use stacking and padding that way even if i resize the size of this text box everything will resize accordingly so i don't even have to shift around my elements just lots of cool and different ways that we can do this if you are interested in kind of seeing that and seeing kind of how advanced you can get in creating these types of newsletters and content sections then you know let me know but for this video we're gonna keep it simple and keep it to what we went with so I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it really informative and useful. Personally, I really like creating newsletters. It's just a fun way to create new and exciting content to share with your subscribers. And hopefully from now on, you can start using Adobe XD to simplify your newsletter creation process. Are there any other kind of videos you'd like me to create next? Definitely let me know in the comments. Until then, see you next time.